yes class 10 students chapter you know chemical equation and reactions now in this chapter today we are taking up uh, how problem solving skills problem solving skills in terms of uh, assertion and reason type questions okay children normally this type question is asked in uh, mcq section okay so student it is a uh, part of uh, question we are going to take up mcq means multiple choice question children see this assertion reason type question here now in paper we will get this type of paragraph okay so in uh, this assertion reason uh, has points if suppose a option is correct to so write this what is a option is saying both a are true and r is the correct explanation of assertion so if this statement is correct in these two so we will write this a answer is a now what is the meaning of b option b option is meaning both a and r true but r is not correct explanation of the assertion c option a is true but r is false d a is false then you see if a is false r is true so children see a is true r is false now see the d what is the meaning of d option if a assertion is correct sorry false but reason is true to so write select d option in mcq question okay children so this is a clear now here uh, i'm taking up one okay reason a i have written a stand for assertion r stand for reason okay so now here we are taking up one question first so children see this what is a a is a assertion is saying ferrous sulfate all right ferrous sulfate crystals are green in color but on heating they first turn white and on further heating decompose to leave behind a reddish brown color residue so children this is our assertion okay so this is the meaning ki ferrous sulfate crystal are green in color okay children so you can write here ferrous sulfate if this check it is correct or wrong so we can refer in a chapter name chemical equation this topics belong to the decomposition reaction and we know the formula of ferrous sulfate is this okay we are going to heat this feso4 okay so children if we takes ferrous sulfate two mole right see this if this ferrous sulfate we are heating now it is uh, green in color so crystals are normally ferrous sulfate hydrate they are green in color okay so ferrous sulfate it turns fe2o3 sulfur dioxide and sulfur dioxide so see check it it is balanced so two ferrous sulfate on decomposition iron oxide normally it is a reddish brown in color it is reddish brown in color sulfur dioxide okay and with sulfur dioxide so see this ferrous sulfate crystals are green so these are the ferrous sulfate crystals are green in color but on heating they first turn white okay so children first they will turn into the white means uh, they form uh, release the water of crystallization molecule on further heating decompose to leave behind reddish brown so children this reaction is involved in two steps first when you will heat this is a light brown color ferrous sulfate heated ferrous sulfate plus 7h2o so this is a colorless and it is green crystals okay so children as per this we are seeing two reactions if this uh, statement is clear so our, our a reason is correct assertion is correct now assertion is correct a is correct now cr they turn white due to loss of water molecule crystallization on the they turn white yes ferrous sulfate heptahydrate so it loses water water molecule that is why it turns into colorless so they turn white they turn means ferrous sulfate two mole of ferrous sulfate right it is colorless white due to loss of water molecule and red is brown means iron oxide 
okay so this is red is count so children in this way uh, reason is also correct it is also correct or reason is also correct now we see here c option both a r and true and r is the correct explanation of a so if now see with these two so this reason is clear you know crystallization green what on heating they first turn white on heating so reason is clear is clear reason is here okay green white is green due to loss of water crystallization yes it is colorless so children it means uh, as is question mcq part uh, question number 1 right so according to this we will select a option so in this mcq type question uh, a is correct so we will write this a for this question number 1 over option a is a to write a in the bracket okay so first question is clear now now we are going to take up another second one okay so children i am rubbing now this first one and then i'll take second one what is second saying okay children so assertion reason according to the c assertion is this when copper is heated in air copper is heated in air it turns black white powder it turns white powder so children see this this is assertion and this is a reason okay copper is heated in air it turns in white powder white powder or okay so see this what is saying so we will take this reaction copper we will take this reaction copper is heated it forms copper oxide children so copper oxide is black in color copper oxide is black in color this is oxidation reaction so according to the statement copper is, is heated in air it turns white powder no white powder so this statement is correct incorrect okay this statement is correct is not correct if we write uh, in place black powder in red side right? so now r see copper reacts with s2s so see this of the air forming black okay now see what is the reaction copper react with h2s okay so it is forming cus copper sulfide copper react with h2s and no or plus hydrogen gas evolve is it feasible reaction right no so children this is not feasible reaction so in this situation a and r both are incorrect children both are incorrect now one we can see if we replay right here one change small change if copper is heated in air it turns black powder so this is a assertion so in this situation a is correct and r is not incorrect so see this match this data from this a is correct a is true yes a is true it gives white powder now but copper react with h2s and of the air forming black copper sulfide no so children in the, according to this option is c so you will take c option in question number c so you write simple option is c question number 2 option c so you will write answer like this question number 1 option a so these two question you write like this 1a 2c simple you can write like this so children two questions we have taken from this chapter now third we are going to take up third type problem see what is a okay assertion right children first we will take assertion azvr on 
AZVR is on photographic plate is on photo graphic plate okay silver bromide is on photographic plate and x-ray film is on photographic and x-ray film so children first assertion is this AZVR is used Silver bromide is used on photographic and x-ray film. Yeah, play. Okay. So what is R? Okay, what is R? So children, R is AZVR is AZVR is photosensitive. Photo sensitive. AZVR is photosensitive and changes. And changes AG to AGVR. Yes. Okay. And says in presence of sunlight. Okay, children. So is see this. Assession one. This is question number three. Assession. AGVR is used on photographic and X-ray film. R reason. AZVR is used means is used why do we use because AZVR is photosensitive in nature or we can say photo uh, decomposition reaction takes place in this so that is why we are saying AZVR is photosensitive and uh, changes is how is it so we can write like this silver bromide in presence of sunlight it gives AG plus bromine gas it okay it is a gray color so children yes agvr is photosensitive you know it takes place in presence of sunlight that is why so answer question number three we will write yes uh, statement or assertion a assertion is correct and reason is also correct and reason is also the correct explanation of a so we will write three answer A, MCQ A, okay? So you will write like this, okay? three option A, okay? So this is a question number three, assertion type. Now four, next we are taking four, next type of assertion. Now question is clear children, silver bromide is used photographic plate, AZVR reason is this. So this statement, both statements are correct. And reason is the correct exp uh, explanation of SSN. Okay, so this is a, now next question in the same chapter belongs to the same chapter we are taking up. So children, now what is A? A stand for SSN. Children, zinc react with hydrochloric acid, or uh, we can speak like this: uh, zinc. Mm reacts with right hydrochloric acid to form to form zinc chloride and hydrogen simple very good so we can uh, take zinc react okay zinc reacts with acl to form zinc chloride and uh, hydrogen right so to give zinc sulfate to form zinc chloride sorry zinc chloride and hydrogen SCL2 on zinc and hydrogen okay so this is a statement okay children okay children so zinc reacts with SCL2 form zinc chloride and hydrogen it is displacement reaction displacement reaction all right now what is R this is R is saying react, reacts with oxygen. Zinc reacts with oxygen and gives oxide, zinc oxide. Zinc oxide. Okay, so children, now let's see the option. Now, first, zinc reacts with SCL. So you can write equation zinc react with SCL. It gives zinc chloride, okay, hydrogen, okay, and it is a 
displacement reaction so children this reaction is correct so means accession it is correct a is correct accession is correct from this question number 4 question number 4 accession is correct now reason zinc react with oxygen and it gives oxide okay zinc react with oxygen and gives zinc oxide okay so children it is also correct okay so when zinc reacts oxygen it forming zinc oxide it is also correct now this is zinc react with oxygen it has no connection with this state accession reason is correct but reason has no connection with accession okay why this uh, is forming zinc chloride why hydrogen is forming reason is not given here okay and why it is called displacement reaction also reason is not here so children is very simple zinc reacts with oxygen a statement is okay with this this statement is correct so now in this see accession is correct and reason is also correct but reason is not the correct explanation of accession reason is not the correct explanation of accession okay children so we you will uh, answer you will report match this answer statement so children a uh, both a r and true a r and true and uh, reason is not r is not correct explanation of the so children we will write for answer you will write uh, b option like this okay so this is correct one okay this is a correct one now i am taking last problem from this topic children related to this last problem okay see this last problem i am taking up okay so children i am taking a key uh, very simple accession a mno2 plus 4 hcl mncl2 h2o plus chlorine right so children so this is a reaction it is a redox reaction this is a assertion it is a redox this is assertion this is assertion question number five this is assertion now r it is a reason mno2 plus 4 scl mno2 now mno2 reason mno2 oxidizes to hcl to magnesium dioxide right magnesium dioxide oxidizes hcl to chlorine gas this is a statement and gets reduced to and gets reduced to chlorine gas or uh, nee, MnCl2 sorry reduced to Mn manganese chloride okay now we will verify this question manganese dioxide is converting MnO2 is converting into MnCl2 so here is a four oxi uh, oxidation number uh, oxy removal of oxygen so here oxygen is removing MnCl2 so this is a removal of oxidation a reduction okay so this is the process is reduced or reduction SCL removal of hydrogen addition of oxygen chlorine right SCL it is converted to the chlorine gas so this is a oxidation so children this a oxy this a oxidation and reduction both the process takes place so that is why this is a redox reaction assertion is correct now mno2 oxidizes mno2 oxidizes scl into chlorine why okay so mno2 is oxidizing scl so oxidation means oxidizes so scl is oxidizes to chlorine means this is oxidizes and it is reduces so children in this question yes this uh, is the correct amino 2 oxidize scl to chlorine okay fine it is correct 
and amino 2 oxidized HCl into chlorine, it is oxidized fine. Amino 2 is uh, reduced into MnCl2. Okay, so, uh, so both the uh, okay, children. Now, question number five amino 2 plus 4 HCl gives MnCl2, H2O, and 2 mole of chlorine. It is a redox reaction. Already we have verified why this is a okay. Now, MnO2 magnesium dioxide reduces to magnesium chloride, magnesium chloride, or uh, hydrochloric acid is oxidizes to chlorine gas. Okay, so here is also written magnesium dioxide oxidizes HCl to chlorine gas and get it reduced to magnesium. So both A and R true and the reason is the correct explanation of a okay reason is the correct explanation of a so we will report answer of five like this question number five answer you will write a option okay like this so is this is this answer is correct question number five uh, option a is correct okay so in this way we have covered all uh, these five mcq okay five mcq assertion and reason right so 5a this is a clear mcq so uh, in this video we have covered five assertion reason type question children okay so in next video we will take up more five in next chapter till then children okay goodbye see you again